Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a little review and I guess what's in my bag video for y'all. My, in my last video that I did about my um, Amazon Neverfull dupe, I did mention that I had recently um, got my hands on a beautiful Louis Vuitton Tureen PM and I promised I would do a video on that bag. So today I thought I would go ahead and do that for you guys. The Tureen is a bag that I guess is discontinued or revamped by Louis, Louis Vuitton. Um, I think now it's the Tivoli and I will pop a picture up here to show you what that one is like now. So they've kind of redone the style a little bit, but the Tureen was one that I saw on another YouTuber's um, channel and Instagram and I will pop her link down below, uh, Louis Vuitton. Um, coffee lover and I love her very very much. I love watching her videos and seeing her Instagram and she has this exact bag and ever since I saw that um, on her channel and on her Instagram pictures I just fell in love with it. So I had been eyeing it off for a long time and I finally took the plunge and got a pre-love one off uh, Fashion File. It's probably next to the Neverfull uh, PM that I had. It's probably one of the most expensive bags that I've bought but I have no regrets because it was in fantastic condition and I just really, really love it. So it's actually the bag that I am rocking today. So this is the Tureen PM and this is in the monogram, of course, monogram print with the Viketta. And I just, I love, love, love this bag. It is the perfect little size for a handbag. So today I am using it with a little bag fob that I got off Amazon and I will pop all these links down below. I apologize for my previous videos that I haven't been doing that. I'm gonna to try to do that more often because I do talk about things and people are like, oh, where'd you get them from? And then I, I have to go find the links. But this was only like $8. It's a little bit of a dupe, I suppose, of the Louis Vuitton bag fobs, but it matches all my little bags and I do love it a lot. So that's on the front here. And then this is a strap that I also got from Amazon call by Art Tribute and I will link that down below too and I think this was I want to say $25 but the reason I love it is because it is a thicker kind of woven material and it sits really really nicely cross body I use this on my terrain I use this on my speedy 25 as well that I got recently that's a vintage bag so we'll do another video on that and uh, I just love using this strap with this bag too but this bag does come with a Viketta uh, Louis Vuitton Viketta strap. It's got all the, uh, so the gold hardware and everything on it. This is nice and it just does look nice with this bag, but it's a little thin for me. I don't like things, when I put my bags on my crossbody, I like to have it actually kind of sitting here. Look, I'll show you real quick. Okay, so of course this will probably hang on the floor, but when I put it over, so this is what it kind of looks like. I like to have it sitting like here. I know that's kind of weird, but I find that a lot more comfortable. See how it kind of sits right there and see how this is a lot thicker. So it does, for me, I like it a lot better that way. So that's how I wore it today. But the nice thing is that you can unclip this from the gold hardware on the end here, really easy. And this pushes in, not pushes out, which is kind of strange, this strap. So, and you just take it right off and you can use this bag in the crook of your arm. I'll show you that too. And that looks really, really cute. I use that all the time like that, like this, see? And I'm 5'9", and I love how this bag sits. I can use it like that. I can carry it like this with my hand, just my hand carry. And it's the perfect, it's the perfect little size for me. So I will show you real quick what I have inside here. And yes, yeah, so if you're interested in seeing that, please keep watching. Okay, so as I mentioned, this does have the gold hardware, the Viketta, um, raw Viketta, leather it's got these little tabs on the side which aren't that bad mine wasn't really flipped up when i got it very very much and i got a hint from um, my friend tiffany from louis vuitton coffee lover to store the bags with the tab down and it actually works really well so they haven't flipped up at all the little tab here is a little small and i kind of got a little bit getting used to but i don't mind it now because it is it's not huge and it kind of adds it's a nice little accent to the bag so open the bag with a gold zipper a uh, really nice zipper the inside of the terrain pm is this beautiful plum color it's a little hard to see i know my lighting is kind of crap sorry guys but you do have the viquetta kind of a uh, little tab right here this is louis vuitton paris which is really nice you have two pockets on one side and then one long pocket on the other side. Now, I don't use the long pocket because I, I find it kind of takes up room in the middle of the bag, but I do like to use these two little pockets here. And in this side, I do have 
just a packet of gum. And then on the other side, I had a hair clip earlier, but I don't like to put too many things in there because it does kind of push, like, you know, bulk these pockets out. And I don't want to stretch them too much. Now this, here's the tag here. It's a SD1157, so it was made in 2017. Now I just, I like to pack with pouches. I don't like using organizers. It works well for me. So same as in, in every bag, I do have my medium set piece by GGB. And this is in the, oh gosh, whispering something. I'll put the, <laughs> I'll put the name down below for you. And in here, uh, these are all my kind of like little essentials. And I do use these more than you would think. I've got a hand sanitizer. I've got some um, uh, penny liners, a hand cream pen, cleaner for my phone and my glasses and then this thing just has like uh, nail clippers little tiny scissors that I use all the time with my kids to cut straws off that are too long I've got a bag hook in here that cost me like five bucks works really well uh, some medicine in case I get a headache um, bobby pins also a now this is something I bought the other day is uh, tweezers because <laughs> I tend to notice when I'm in the car that my eyebrows need tweezing. It's really weird because I just, it's the natural light. So I bought that the other day. And yeah, so just all kind of you know, bits and bots that you might want when, you know, need when you're out and about. And I have a mini wipe pouch in there just with some hand and face wipes. I refill this nearly every day. The clip case by Rough and Tumble. And I did cut the little hook thing off. And this is what I keep my keys in because it's, I have a keyless entry car. So I don't need to constantly get to my keys. And this is really handy just to grab and go when I have to pick up Clara from the uh, my daughter from the preschool and then I've got the small set piece by GGB in the same print with all my lipstick and lip gloss and stuff in there I have a whole bunch of different colors so depending on what mood I'm in I can grab that as well I have my phone this is an iPhone 11 Pro um, I'm not sure if I I, I want to do a review on this because I do kind of like this but I'm not tech savvy so if you guys just want a non-tech savvy review just leave that in the comments just what I think about it how it handles, how it takes pictures, things like that. So let me know if you'd like a review on this one. And then I have my, this is a Country Road leather wallet that I got from Australia. So I'm using that one at the moment. Kind of switched out of my carry kit for a little bit, but this is a beautiful leather wallet as well. And you can see inside there, the, I guess it says it was made in, made in USA. Okay, so this one was made in the USA. So that's what I had in my uh, Louis Vuitton Terrain PM. If you like the video, please uh, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing. I love to get your feedback, so please leave some comments below if you'd like. And I will see you next time for my next video. Thanks, guys. Bye.